Company A is an enterprise voice over IP operator providing services using SIP phones and a SIP application server in their network. The application server provides services like Find Me, Follow Me, Simultaneous Ring, and more. Company A configures each phone with the address of the SIP application server before shipping it to the customer site. The SIP phones use that address for registration and to make voice calls. Company A has developed a great reputation for its service and its subscriber numbers have grown. To keep up with the growth, Company A has deployed two more application servers, each with its own address. Now, the subscriber records are distributed across three application servers. Since the SIP application server address is configured on each phone, Company A must reconfigure that address each time a customer is assigned to another application server. This complex process slows response times and increases provisioning errors, resulting in service disruption and higher operational costs. From a technical perspective, the problem is the result of the tight coupling between the SIP endpoints and the SIP application server. Changes in the physical network have a direct impact on how the SIP phones access the service. To restore service quality, Company A must be able to manage growth without sacrificing quality of service and make changes to application server assignments without having to reconfigure the phones already in service. This is where Techelex SSR comes in. It's designed to help companies like Company A create a more flexible network free of endpoint constraints and save capital costs by simplifying subscriber management while making the most of application server capacity. The SSR shields the endpoints from changes to the network through network abstraction. The SIP phones are configured with a single abstract address. Requests are sent to the SSR, which determines the appropriate SIP application server and routes the request to that platform. Since the endpoint only deals with an abstract view of the network, changes to the physical network won't disrupt service. By eliminating the endpoint constraints, Company A can create a flexible architecture that allows them to explore different business models such as using third-party hosted services, save capital costs by maximizing the efficiency of the application servers through load sharing and flexible subscriber management, and create a foundation for future multimedia services.